hello guys welcome back so in the last video we calculated the width of a two input NAND gate using the RC delay model and the worst case scenario so today we are going to do something similar and we are also going to calculate the total RC delay so in this video uh, I'm going to show you the width calculation in the one after this I'm going to show you how to calculate the delay so what we need to know here is that here we're not doing it for the worst case scenario we're gonna do it for the best case scenario so the first step in all of these problems is drawing our circuit so the three input NAND gate we know that the NAND gate equation is basically this for two inputs it was a and b and for three inputs it's going to be a b and c and as I discussed before, in a CMOS circuit, when you're considering the pull-up network, which is basically the PMOS uh, part, the dot in your Boolean expression is going to mean parallel connection. And if there's a plus in your Boolean, in your Boolean expression, it's going to mean a series expression. So since we have a dot in our Boolean expression, a, B, and C are connected in parallel in the pull-up network, the PMOSes. And remember that the NMOS uh, is going to be the exact reverse. So for the dot, they are connected in series in the pull-down section for the NMOS. So our output is here. And I'm just going to mark that. Oh, one more thing that you need to know. You should already probably know this that we're considering the dot here and we're ignoring this complement sign because for every CMOS circuit it's automatically you know complemented there is an invisible not gate here somewhere which is why we can just ignore the complement in this case so this is our final circuit for a three input NAND gate so now we're going to be calculating the width of our uh, circuit and in the best case scenario what we basically want is the least resistance so which combination of transistors in the pull up and the pull on down network will result in the least resistance so let's consider the pull up network here remember that it was basically these three pmoses connected in parallel and remember in the last video we discussed that each uh, transistor can be represented as a resistance and now let's uh, think about how we can get the least resistance so if I just turned this one on if I just turned this a on and I left this one off and this one off so my overall resistance would have been equal to just this one and my overall resistance would have been equal to R but if I turned A and B on and this one off so we're just gonna get rid of that then my resistance would have been equal to R by 2 and now if I turn all three of the transistors on then my total resistance of this pull-up network is going to be R by 3 and since we want the least overall resistance Therefore, this is the combination that we're going to take. The three transistors are on. All right, so my total resistance R is equal to R by 3. And remember, in the previous video, we discussed that we need to find the coefficient of R. So the coefficient here, which basically means that 1 by 3 into R. So the coefficient here is basically 1 by 3. And the general width of a PMOS, we already know that now, is 2. So we're going to multiply the 2 to get the total width of 1 PMOS. So that's done. Next, we have our pull-down network. So remember, the pull-down network was just basically these three NMOS in series. And we can represent them as these resistances here. So the main concept to understand here is basically what we did in our two-input NAND gate. We have three NMOS in series and if we were to turn any of them off then the circuit would basically be broken and we can't work with a broken circuit you know so the current has to flow somewhere and that's why all of the three NMOS they have to be on and if they are on then since each has a resistance of R the total resistance will be 3R. Our coefficient is basically 3 as you can see here and the width of a general NMOS is 1. So our total width is 3. Thank you so much for listening to this video. 
In the next video, we're going to continue with the circuit and we are going to calculate the RC delay.